All right, welcome guys to uh, my first uh, Minecraft tutorial. <clears throat> Today we're playing around with a little bit of redstone because that's always fun. And uh, basically, what I've got for you today is a simple switch. It's a toggle switch. It's really nice. Um, I've gone to this now for pretty much every application I use switches for um, because you know you can toggle it and it works as in an on and off state. It's really nice. Ah, uh, so the idea, of course, is just something like this. You press a button and the doors open. You know, and then you press another button on the other side <coughs> and the door closes just like that simple effective nice little touch to add to you know your your worlds um but i thought of something a little bit well even even a little nicer than that um and that's over here but i'll show you real quick here's an overview of this toggle switch i mean it's it's kind of small, but uh, I mean, it it does take up some space. So you're gonna have to, you know, you could light up a whole, you know, you could put this in your basement, and use it to light your house with red, uh, with redstone lamps, you know. <coughs> so you can toggle it on and off. You got a light switch now. Um, of course, it works with buttons. It also works with levers, uh, of course. And uh, that's what, uh, let's see, what do I have? Oh, shit. What am I doing? <coughs> so, over here, this is, I think, the best uh, usage of this. Here we have a hidden entrance. A completely hidden entrance. You can do this in any wooded area. Uh, how you can even make your own wooded area, if you wanted to. Just around your entrance to your to your hideout. And let's see, yeah, right here. I I like to set up this dirt around my where where my button should be placed. So you can take this button off, and then nobody knows. Nobody will see this button. They'll come through the woods. La da da da. da. They don't see a button because there's no button there. But you know when you come through and you see this patch, this piece right here, and it just looks like just looks like a hole in the ground. Like you know maybe. Um, I don't know, it's just how the world populated, you know? It just looks normal. It looks totally normal. Totally like, and you got chunks of dirt, lay, you know, out here. So nobody's going to pay any attention to this. And I got just this little V right here next to my tree. I'll put my button down. And then I can also break the button as soon as I open it. And what that does, comes over here and opens up the entrance to my hidden you know, little hideaway stash. Come in, hit the button, it closes, it looks just like a hole in the ground. Just like a normal, uh, randomly generated hole in the ground. So it's pretty nice. I like it. So let's go over um, building this toggle. Let's see if I open up right here. Yeah, you can see everything I have. I've got a little, I put note blocks so it plays a little sound. Um, I got one sticky piston down that pulls this block down. This one pulls this block over. Voila. Two block door opens up magically. <coughs> so like I said, you need a little bit of space to be able to run your redstone um, easily. Uh, but I mean, it's not that big. So it's just a just a little, little spot here off to the side. I don't have any dirt to fill that in, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. But, we'll go ahead and, uh, shit, open this. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, fuck. Alright, let's open it back up. Yeah. And we can go back over here. Place our button. Hit the button. You destroy the button. And now closed back up it looks just like it did before and voila so there you go now let's go over how this is made now here's the one thing is there is a slight delay you'll notice there's a delay between when that light comes on and so on but and of course the longer your 
circuit is it's going to have a little bit more delay in it because of all these repeaters I believe that's where we get our delay none of these are, well, I must note that all these repeaters are set to one tick so none of them are set to a delay there's just an inherent delay of course in the system um, but we'll go over how this here's where you're going to need uh, you're going to need redstone you're going to need uh, two redstone torches you're going to need two sticky pistons, uh, a button or a switch. Um, let's see here. You're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight repeaters, and then some other block. Oh, and two blocks, two glass blocks. <coughs> but then, and then some other block. I'm using blue wool uh, currently. So, much like this setup, you'll start, just put two redstone repeaters down, and then they run into, you'll see, they actually run into this setup here. Dun, dun, dun. So, what we're going to do <coughs> is we'll put, it doesn't matter how you put this down, put my block of wool, two blocks of glass, a sticky piston goes here. And then a sticky piston, you will skip a block after this block of glass. And a sticky piston goes here. Oh, not like that, though. Like that. <coughs> sure enough. And then from out from here, you're going to get a redstone repeater coming out. Right? Now it goes in. Sorry. Fuck. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. So now you have a redstone repeater going in to here and in to here. <coughs> you also have two here going the opposite direction, this way. And then I believe, how did that go? Yeah, it goes like that. So we get one coming out this way, one coming out this way. Oh, shit. I'm on the wrong side of this. So you got one coming out this way. One coming out this way. And then in here, we're going to have two. I'm using wool. We use two wool blocks. Just like that there. As you can see. It just I, It's just a block. I believe it, it blocks the uh, circuit. Carries it out this way. Which is fine. <coughs> so now you're going to need two more blocks. You need a redstone, uh, I'm sorry, a, yeah, you need a, another random block, you know, whatever, you can use stone, but like I said, I'm using wool, another wool block here, we put a wool block here, like this, and that's pretty much it, now we just need to run our redstone and torches, so you get one redstone torch here and you get another redstone torch here uh, let's see and then redstone we're gonna run redstone on top of this block down to this that shuts off this torch and then we're gonna run uh, let's see how does that go yeah okay and then just right down off of here to here. Now we tie all this together like this and like that. Should be it. Correct? No. Still gotta do this. There it is. And that's our, that's it. We run uh, power here like that. So we'll just go ahead and I'm just going to put a block here. I'm going to put a switch on it. And then this is our output on this side. So you're going to run this to whatever mechanism you want to control. Whether it's uh, more sticky pistons or in this case I'm just going to stick a door here. Right? So now when I press the button the door opens. Simple as that and press the button again 
And likewise, now you could also have a separate, uh, you could have a separate power coming off too. So we'll run it to another block. We'll put a button over here. Like I said, like I said it could be a switch too. You can use levers, uh, you know, lever switches. That's fine. And we'll uh, go ahead and hit that. Now the door is closed. So you can have a door. You can have an. Oh, let's see. You can use. Let's use a different door. We're gonna go ahead and um, trade this door out for this door because everybody knows you have to use and switch for this door. So now we got, and you can have one, of course, on any side of the either side <coughs> of the. Uh, door one opens it and the other one's gonna close it real real simple real easy to build um, it doesn't take a lot of supplies even in uh, survival mode I mean it's pretty simple some redstone torches some wool some repeaters this is all you know basic redstone technology you of course the sticky pistons you have to get some slime balls but I mean come on now it's not hard to do um, so, real simple, real easy to build, um, in either creative or, uh, survival, and some pretty cool things you can do with it, including these, the, uh, um, I'm not using wool, I'm using fucking lapis lazuli, whatever, who cares. Um, so the secret entrance, this is a pretty nice, uh, application for this, uh, for this particular switch. So, there you have it. Simple switch, simple materials, easy to build. This is like a beginner's level kind of circuit. Um, so have fun with it. And uh, yeah, right? You tell them, tell them, say, have fun with this. And, and I'm kind of interested in, uh, you know, if, if, if you've got uh, an elaborate usage for this particular uh, toggle, uh, I would love to see it. Be sure to, you know, post a link in the comments. Um, and I'll check them out. And uh, I'll give shout-outs to, to, to those that, you know, use this in some of the most creative ways. I'm really interested in seeing that. So, hell yeah. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the page. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Um, like I said, comment. Uh, post in the comments um, for this video uh, links to videos um, of your creations uh, uh, with with this using this toggle uh, that'd be interesting and uh, so until next time uh, <laughs> until next time <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a closeout phrase I still don't have that until next time.